Being a realtor is a lifestyle and not a job. It truly is. We live our life constantly um, in the flow of our business. I have seen her literally stay up all night trying to work out a deal, trying to help people come together on an arrangement. The thing you have to understand about Laura is that for her, it's never been about brand. It's never been about sales. It's always about who can she help? How can she touch lives? I learned a lot from Laura. She was always the embracing technology early on and sharing with others. A good leader teaches and a good leader learns. And that is you, Laura. You put people first. I had always had a little bit more of a competitive type mindset with other agents. And almost immediately upon visiting with Laura, realized that I'm going to get a lot further as a collaborator than a competitor. Real estate happens when life changes happen, and so you're there at a really important time in their lives, and, and I hope that they uh, will remember those times as special. This is a, a picture with uh, my dad and me when I was graduating from high school, and believe it or not, just three years later, we started on my career in real estate. My dad had had a long, successful career in insurance, and he really wanted to do real estate. So together, every night, we went and took all three GRI series and got our real estate licenses. So it's always been really a family affair. And now my girls have both uh, gotten into the business. And uh, like I say, it's a, real estate is a lifestyle and not a job. What I've learned in the last 40 years, I've learned that you need to be flexible and that you always need to keep learning because everything changes in, in this business. Uh, you've got the changes in the economy, the changes in interest rates, the, uh, just the changes in technology. Everything is always changing, so you have to be out there in front of it. When I first got into the business, we would go down to the Board of Realtors office on Friday mornings and exchange paper listings, and that is how we shared our information. And then, of course, we had the book, and then the computer came along, and then the internet. And all those uh, technological things have been really, really wonderful and saved time and help us do our jobs better. Um, the, the thing that hasn't changed, though, is the relationship with the people uh, and the ability to really serve people. Real estate is very much a service industry. People buy and sell homes uh, during the times of their lives when there's some sort of change. And it, it, it's very gratifying to be able to step in at those times in their lives and really make a difference. And I love that. And that's never changed and it never will. What is fascinating is that over this period of time of, of 40 years, she has had major leadership positions at the local, state, and national level and has always been willing to commit herself and her time and her energies to making the profession stronger and better. I've gained friendships that could not be reproduced anywhere else. And I've learned from all of the people that I have been able to network with. I kind of flash back to the old adage that a rising tide raises all ships. And I actually have the visualization that Laura is actually that rising tide. All the best to you, Laura. Thank you for all you've given to our organization in this industry. Well done, Laura. Thank you for what you've done for so many of us over all these years. I just appreciate her dedication to our profession. Aloha and congratulations, Laura. Mama Safari, from me to you, I couldn't think of a more deserving, more wonderful person. It is amazing the impact you've had on the profession and on your clients and on our family. Love you, congratulations. Mm -hmm.